By now we all know that Tesla essentially runs the news when it comes to talking about the auto industry and the stock market. And that's for good reason. Elon Musk is a really intelligent individual and has some very interesting marketing campaigns. But are there other auto industry stocks out there that are worth investing your money in? Are there sleepers out there? Are there just these rock solid fundamental companies? The answer is yes, and we are going to get into that today. What's going on guys, Nathaniel here. Welcome back to the channel. That's right, we are going to be talking about some other auto stocks that I am interested in and I think you should check them out and be interested in them too. Some of them have very solid fundamentals and some of them are just ripe for a pivot in their industry. So we're gonna hop on the computer and I'm going to talk to you about why I like these stocks. But before that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'm trying to bring you the best content I can, and I would really appreciate your subscription so you can get informed every time I post a new video. The very first company I want to look at is Workhorse Group, and you can find them as WKHS on the NASDAQ. And they are very interesting because it goes to show that Tesla is not the only one who is innovating during these times. In fact, Workhorse Group has some very, very cool ideas out there that I absolutely love. They essentially have an electric delivery van with drones. So basically a van can go down your street and dispatch drones to deliver packages to your door and this is by no means a novel concept. Amazon has been working on similar drones to deliver packages, but it's very cool. They think that about 70% of all packages could be delivered by drone, and we'll get into more of that in just a second, but I wanted to go ahead and have a look at this company's record on the stock market as well as some of their buy and uh, price targets. So if we have a look at the price points for Workhorse, you can see that it was sitting at about 325 about three months ago, and now it is sitting at 234. Honestly, if this was to be a success, they do have FAA clearance and they've done some prototyping and testing in Cincinnati. And I think that this is going to be the future of delivery. Automation has taken a lot of hold in how we do things. And so I would not be surprised to see deliveries, especially uh, people like Amazon who just deal with such a huge volume going after this technology in the future. And that's why I think this one would be a great stock to buy. Now, if we look at analyst ratings, of course, this is compiled by Webull. If you don't have a Webull account already, go ahead and sign up in the link below. You will get two free stocks, and one of those is going to be worth up to $1,400 when you open an account and make your first deposit of $100. Now, Webull has this as a strong buy, which means these are speculative holdings and that means people who analyze businesses look at these based on the performance of the stock as well as where they see the future of said stock. And as you can see here, it is split 50-50 between a strong buy and a buy. That is awesome. And if we go down to the analyst price target, it's currently sitting, this says 226 but you can see that it's estimated to be at about five, 550 or $6, which means there is a lot of faith in this stock to continue to grow. So if you're looking for a good growth stock, this might be one to look at. So if we have a look at this news article that came out just a week and a half ago, you can see the prototype workhorse van as well as the drone carrying a package. It's pretty cool and they are currently testing this in Cincinnati, like I said, and they 
estimate that it can make a delivery. Each drone can make a delivery of up to 100 yards away. It will go out, land the package on your doorstep, and then carry on. It'll catch up with the van. Very cool. It allows for some multifunctionality when delivering packages, and the delivery driver can uh, drive ahead, deliver the big packages that the drone can't, and the drone will catch up and end up back inside the van. And I like the concept, and I think this is really the future of delivery. My number two choice is Aptiv, and you can find them on the stock exchange as APTV. And this one is really interesting because they make components for vehicles. And some of these components can range from infotainment systems and communication and safety systems to electronic architecture for vehicles. And you actually may have heard of this company previously known as Delphi. Now Delphi does still exist, but this is a branch off of it. And we can see that it is currently sitting at about 6146. And by looking at the three month chart, we can see that it was at over $90 a share and now it is slowly working its way back up. Honestly, I think this company will recover because cars are still going to be made and there is still a lot of research and development that goes into it. Looking at the analyst rating, it is currently rated as a buy. And if we go to the analyst price target, you will see that it ranges anywhere from $50 to 110. But given that buy speculation, I would consider this company to grow back to its $90 price point or higher. And if you get in now, you are probably, obviously I am not a licensed stockbroker or a financial advisor, but I would say they will recover from this time. This is a stock that I absolutely want to have. It is race. And I mean, how fitting is that ticker symbol? Because we are talking about Ferrari. One of the most interesting things about Ferrari is how expensive their cars are. And because of the price of a Ferrari ranging anywhere from like 100,000 to something like 1.3 million or higher, it just depends on the model. Ferrari caters to a more exclusive crowd. And I would dare say that people who can afford to buy a Ferrari will still buy Ferraris and won't be necessarily slowed down by this economic slump. Now, Ferrari was absolutely a steal back in March when its share price dropped below $130. But if you got in now, you could still see some growth. It is currently sitting at about $158. And I have no doubts that once all of this is passed and the world comes back to normal, they are just going to continue their upward trend. Analysts have this as a buy. And honestly, I can't disagree because like I said before, people who can afford a nice sports car are still going to buy nice sports cars. And that leads me to my final stock pick for today. KMX, AKA CarMax. Now CarMax sells cars and because of the size of this company and the number of locations across the US, I would dare say that they will fare better than just your average car dealership. And if you look at their price chart, you will see that they are sitting just short of $65 a share down from about $100. And as we come out of this crisis and as people get back to normal and start buying vehicles, you are going to see that share price jump back up. Looking at the analyst rating, absolutely. Strong buy and a buy. You are not going to get much better than that. And because of the size and the volume of vehicles that they sell and push out, they are going to rebound and getting in now would be a deal. So do you agree with my assessments about these companies? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to bring you good content and I appreciate you watching. I will catch you in the next video.
拜拜。